Tastes like that one. Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. What I want to talk about today is emergency preparedness, survival. When we talk about those things, what's the first thing that most people think of when we talk about, you know, an emergency situation? <laughs> it tells you a lot about our, our culture and our society. First thing most of us think of is food. Okay. Actually, that's at the bottom of your list because we can go quite a while without food. Shelter, yeah, depends on the surroundings, you know. I'm not gonna freeze to death today, that's for sure. Today is actually a really good day though for what I wanna talk about, and that's hydration and water. Clean water, most people don't give it a lot of thought because most of the time when we want some good clean water, all we gotta do is this. Yeah, we just go to the faucet and turn it on. Now, we're exceptionally lucky here because a lot of the world doesn't have that luxury. What I want to talk about is how to get clean, safe drinking water. Now, back in the day, I used to do a lot of this. 34 years ago, I used to do a lot of backpacking. And let me tell you something about backpacking and taking water. Water weighs a lot. We are essentially a great big bag of water. So, you know, anywhere from 60 to 70% of my body weight is water, and I need at least one gallon a day, if not more. Today, heat index is about 100, and if I was doing a lot of this, I would need a lot of water. Now, what a lot of people don't understand is they think, well, yeah, you know, if you're out and it's hot, but you go in cold weather, environment and you need just as much if not more water now one of the things with winter time is thawing ice or snow i had an opportunity i was in the navy reserves with fleet hospital got to do some great training um, with the marines fleet hospital is all about supporting marines and setting up mobile hospitals so actually all of my training was on marine corps bases camp pendleton um, we were out there for our i guess you could call it basic training and i got a giant spider here <laughs> jumping on my camera <laughs> and uh, it was hot okay it was really hot out there and of course you know every marine knows i learned a lot from the marines water 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 you'll go into the bathroom and at the urinal, they got a little picture thing. Does your, does your urine look like this? And it had different colors. And if one was really dark yellow, it said C. Corman. Okay. If it had, if it was really light colored or clear, it was like thumbs up. You're good to go. Then another opportunity I had was Mountain Warfare Training Center in Nevada. We went up there in the Sierras in February. We got like 12 feet of snow and a lot of people don't think about how much water you need when it's freezing cold out. One of the days I got stuck doing water duty, all I did was sit in this dugout and thaw snow. And again, we just don't understand how much and how important water is. Well, I came across a company, Sagan Life. And back when I used to do a lot of backpacking, there wasn't a lot of options. One of them was this great big porcelain thing. It weighed a lot. Uh, if I remember, it was like $300. Technology's come a long way with reverse osmosis. Sagan, I saw this journey, this water bottle. I've got one here, and I like that. I mean, for even just day hiking, let alone backpacking. And then we've got the X-Stream Straw. And these would have been awesome. So what I wanted to do is kind of go through these. And they've got some other products I'm hoping to test. And this is just good to have around, I think, for any kind of, you know, emergency situation. So I've got some different water bodies here. We're just going to come up here to a pond. 
okay? And what you can't see is a ways up that way, my neighbors raise cattle. Now, here's the thing. You know, when I was doing some of my backpacking, like here, you know, in the mountains, this water was crystal clear. I mean, it looked good. The thing is, guys, you never know what's upstream. So you could have a nice little body of water like this and half a mile, mile up, this is what's laying in the pond and draining into where you're drinking. And let me tell you, you don't want to drink that water, at least not without some kind of filtration system. So let me show you how easy the journey is here in the extreme straw. And then I found a couple of spots where I got some really nasty water on my property. And I'm gonna bottle that up so I can show it to you in the bottle. And then I'm gonna drink out of that. And if you're watching this, that means that I posted it. And it means that I wasn't spending a whole lot of time here because yeah, then I would have had a real issue. I would have contacted Sagan um, and then I would be doing a totally different video. So let me show you how this works. You know, for a real oh, just emergency use, this one, I really like the extreme straw. This would have been awesome when I was up there in the mountains backpacking. I mean, we literally can just walk up and I'm actually going to clear a little water here. Okay. And I'm just going to drop. All right. Show you there. Now, thing, <coughs> this part you want to keep clean. Now, I've had Giardia before, and it wasn't because I was foolish in my camping and drinking water. I actually got it from fishing, just getting the water on my hands and then later, you know, putting something in my mouth. Guys, you do not want Giardia. It is bad stuff. So is cholera and all the other forms of dysentery. Uh, Giardia, they call beaver fever. You don't want it, okay? So anyway, let's drink a little more here. Now, crazy thing is, is I've never drank my water out of the pond. I wouldn't think that it would taste very good, but with the filtration system, I mean, we're filtering out down to microns, we're filtering out 99.9999% of bacteria, 99.99% of viruses. So it's actually going to take out a lot of the taste that you would have. Um, let's try the journey here. Hey, if you like this video, if you follow my channel, make sure and check out my webpage. Use my links. I've got some online courses here. Check those out. 30-day money-back guarantee. Check out my Amazon store. I got some crazy, stupid deals there. Thank you guys for your support. Couldn't do it without you. Now, with any kind of water purification, the part that's going to go in your mouth, you do not want to contaminate. With, with this, we just separate the top. Okay, I'm just going to set that on my bag, and then I'm just going to fill this up. I don't want to get a bunch of vegetation in there. If you can, you want, you could even take, literally, guys, you could take an old sock. You could take the sock you're wearing if you have really dirty water. The, the worst is, is, is not getting sweat off your feet. The water is going to be far more contaminated. But what you want to do, if you can is try to keep the big solids out. It will wear out your filter faster. Another thing is if you have a large container and you have particularly muddy water, is to collect it and then just let it sit so the suspended particles in here fall out and that will increase the life of your filter. All right, so we got it bottled up. And that's why a lot of you, I think, are going to really like the journey um, you know, I think the extreme straw would probably be more my preference for, you know, 
emergency preparedness or something because it does come with a pump here like this little bulb and so then we can use this to fill up containers you know and the other way of of cleaning water is is just not very acceptable all right so we pop the lid off here and pop that up and then i just drink out of here Okay, each of these systems, the filter is going to do up to 250 gallons. But like I said, the better that you can filter or sort of strain your water so that you're not getting big particles that clog this up, that's going to maximize the 250. If I'm using just super muddy water with all kinds of stuff floating around, I may not get the 250 out of it. Now, I almost forgot to mention... In emergency situations, water, you know, you can die in a matter of a day or two from getting dysentery. Um, it, it's in, people just have no idea how fast you can lose water when you're sick. Um, you become hypovolemic, you go into shock, and you die. There are other ways of purifying water. You know, one, you can use bleach, and there's some simple recipes out there Um it's not really preferred you know that's kind of an emergency and that doesn't take stuff out so like the little bugs and stuff swimming around um, the taste isn't gonna be good back when I first started we used iodine tablets and the water tasted nasty okay and some there's some other purifying tablets and then of course you can always go with the time-tested boiling but this takes energy okay you got to have a fire or, you know, best case scenario, you got a stove here, but think about it. You know, if I, I'm gonna have to boil a gallon a day just for me or more, plus then I gotta wait for it to cool down before I can drink it. Trust me, guys, I've done the boiling thing. It takes time and it's not something you wanna do if you're wanting water and the pill. So anyway, I think this reverse osmosis it's a good deal and what you pay for 250 gallons of water here that's nice so what i wanted to do was take two of the i guess nastiest samples of water that i could find on my property um, one is a drainage and then the other was this bucket back by the cabin got an old uh cattle bucket that's been sitting back there for probably a year or more as you can see, you know, walking back there, if this doesn't get sunlight, it doesn't get emptied. This is the worst, I think, possible water that I could possibly drink. It's even got active mosquito larvae in it. Um, who knows what else? We're just going to drop it in here. And we're going to drink right out of the straw. I gotta say, it actually tastes good. I really can't tell the difference. It tastes like tap water. Now we're gonna go in the really nasty one here, and I'm gonna be honest with you, this one worries me a little bit, although you have mosquito larvae in about anything. Um, let's give it a shot. Tastes good. Let's, um, Just in case you were doubting if I was getting a. All right. I don't think I really need to do the other one because I think that one's a lot nastier. So anyway, there you go, guys. So there you go, guys. The Sagan Journey and the Extreme Straw. These are awesome products. I wish I had these 34 years ago when I started doing a lot of backpacking. You know, water is heavy to carry. And back then, you know, the filtration systems were a lot bigger, a lot heavier. This stuff, it's affordable and it's got a proven track record. And if you're watching this, it went well. Hopefully.
Hopefully you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Until next time, guys, be safe.